Hello Minecrafters out there, my name is Fabe and welcome back to another episode of the Ironstone Mine. And this is episode 51 guys. The episode after the <laughs> ultimate sheep battle we had last episode and yeah guys I hope really much you um, enjoyed this uh, thing cause it, uh, as you may have noticed it took me a lot of work to to editing and all the stuff yeah um crisscross was so kind to um borrow me his account for this occasion so i had a chance to record it from two perspectives which, which was really nice i think and yeah i added all the <laughs> all the viewer noise and and stuff into it and yeah it was a lot of fun and i i really hope you enjoyed it and yeah, of course it was also a lot of work to to finish the arena, which actually was the reason why it took me so long to get this this, this uh, sh final sheep betting episode out. We will have a look at the arena um, here shortly, but let's sleep first. Good morning, Minecraft. And there she is, the beauty. But first of all, <laughs> once again, um, I did some more experiments with the chickens in creative and I figured out that no way that they will survive a lava. Anyways, I just, I managed it to get them um, just one tick of lava and they died and uh, the food burned anyway. So for chicken and cows it works without a problem. For, for pigs and cows, I hope I said that, not sure. Um, but for chicken it's too too much. So let's try if we can get it with a flint or steel here. Come on. Nice. Alright, that's pretty simple and I think that's how we will uh, roll in the future. 19, that will definitely get me through some time here. And yeah, I got another Got another chest f full of eggs and I will empty it, I guess, after this episode is done and then we will definitely have enough food for the next time. But there's a skeleton! What do you do? It's, it's daytime, man. You are supposed to burn. So, let's see. Um, yeah, last time I showed you a little uh, roof type of things I put over the, the uh, box buildings around the sheep boxes. But I really wasn't convinced of him, um, so I decided to go with uh, uh, some smaller towers here. And I really like the design with the wool out of the out of the corners. That looks really awesome. And uh, yeah, I just uh, made the, the four basic colors around, which looks pretty nice. And then I was uh, stand before the question. Um, what should I do with the middle? Because um, at some point I wanted to have this little uh, dome here. But of course there was the redstone on top and yeah it wasn't really good looking with the towers around them and the, the small little dome in the middle. So I decided to go with an even bigger tower. <laughs> and I, um, you saw it in the intro already of course. But I tried to put a lot of detail in it. And um, I especially like the windows uh, at the top. They look, they look uh, quite cool. We will uh, go up shortly there as well. And yeah, I kind of closed it off above. And I wanted to do yeah two more stories into this tower, but I wasn't sure how to do it. I <laughs> designed a, a sheep pixel art. Maybe um, I will blend in a screenshot of it. Um, I at first plan to put into the floor so we can see it from down here, but uh, I don't think it would it would look that great with the with the sandstone cross still in the middle obstructing our view. And so I didn't do anything. I yeah another thing I thought about was putting um, just glass floors in so we can see all the way above still. Well, actually, you can't see other glass blocks when you're looking... Th oh, oh you, yes, you can. Never mind. Um, so, I'm probably going with the, with the standard solid-looking... Um, with the solid-looking floor design. 
Oh yeah, and, and you can see I did a little water elevator in here, which looks pretty nice from the outside as well. We will have a look at this as well, I hope, if I don't forget. And here we are at our, at our studio. Um, yeah, I guess I can. Oh no, it was glass. Oh, <laughs> luckily I got just w enough glass to fix it. Um, bam. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if I will keep this. I just filled up the, the dome with this glass here. And oh, you can still see all the redstone in here. It's It's kind of neat, but I'm not sure if I will actually keep it. Let's get this and this. Yeah, I will replace those later. And oh yeah, it was quite a pain in the ass to <laughs> get Bruce into this in the, into this minecart and uh, orientated in the right direction. So I hope it was all right. <laughs> and yeah, that was our winner. And I was a little bit kind of confusing um, at the end of the episode. I kind of wanted to. Um, yeah, make a little Hall of Fame for the actual uh, color of sheep who won this match. So I, um, yeah, kind of spontaneous decided to put uh, to use those half slips things that cover up the redstone to make a kind of a monument. So we have um, blue one, and we can have three more winners in here. And yeah. But then again, I thought, yeah, four matches wouldn't be def definitely wouldn't be enough to decide the outcome of the whole season. So we need uh, at least four more. So I decided to go with eight matches for a season because we are 16 colors, and um, yeah, it's 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 probably probably uh, if we just do four matches, there will um, be four different colors. So with eight, we can um, decrease this probability. And we probably have, I hope at least, uh, and at least one uh, color that uh, won twice, maybe even, even more often. That would be nice, of course. But we will see about that, I guess. And yeah, cause it was such a yeah such an amount of work that I had to do to for this episode. I didn't realize it when I was recording it, but the editing took quite some time. So I guess I'm going with every 10 episodes. So next next match will be at episode 60, which will come soon, you guys. You know, time flies by. But yeah, sadly, no one betted on the right color um, this match. Blue one, and no one expected. I think not. Uh, no one even betted on one of the three um, that lasted the longest. Um, it was light blue. It was white, I think, and blue one, of course. And yeah, I I don't want only to to cure the winners here. Um, I want as well to give some points for the third, uh, for the second and the third place. Do I got some signs? Of course, I don't. So let me quickly get some signs going. And yeah, if I. If my memory doesn't betray me, I uh, there was, was one point for light blue, and dang it, and uh, two points for white. Oh man, my inventory is a mess as always. Let's get rid of this rotten flesh here and this bones. Yes. Um, and so it's maybe even better to get a, a nice champion if we are uh, yeah, giving points for the first three places. So let's put some signs down here. We got on third, we got light blue with one point. We got white with two points and we got yeah blue with the winning i guess we are going with three or five points hmm winning of course i think winning is is worth more than three points cause yeah 
usually the winner is the only uh, one that counts. So let's give him five points. Maybe I will change it. Yeah, you can leave, of course, your opinion in the comments. And yeah, that's our first match um, this season. And yeah, as I told you, we will have seven more. And then we will see which color is the best uh, surviving color <laughs> against wolves. <laughs> I'm really eager to see. Um, yeah, and I planned upstairs here. Here should be another floor. Yeah, I made another water elevator in it because they are just the smallest and the best looking uh, ways to get up and down such a tower. I want to put in another floor right here. And um, actually, I don't remember what I was going to put in here. But I was uh, going to put the player uh, ranking on the t on the level on top here, because yeah, it's a little bit bigger, and we can have a li nice uh, little uh, board where we can play. Uh, yeah, give the points to the players who better the right. Of course, uh, no points yet, so <laughs> I wasn't uh, in a hurry to finish this uh, build. But as you can see, we got a really nice view here over the area, and I really love those windows and those little sandstone thingies. Um, yeah, I'm not quite convinced of them, but I want to give it some more depth, and I think they are doing a decent job here. Let's see. Yeah, a glorious cobblestone wall of fame! Didn't get any building around it yet either. Back there you can see the desert where I got all the sand from. You can see it's uh, very flat and it goes on quite a bit of this. Uh, yeah, some of these days I will uh, show it to you. And there's the ocean where we far found our jungle temple. Whole ray. Um, yeah, loads of hours went by. And night time is approaching. Once again, yeah, time flies by, guys. And, okay, I think that uh, made my plans quite clear I have for this uh, sheep betting thing. And, yeah, hmm. I'm still not sure about the floor. Maybe I will... I will put some, 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 some wooden floor in it. But otherwise, uh, on the other side, I, I don't know if it's a good idea to bring another, another color into this whole um, arena theme. It's always a difficult decision if you, uh, um, wait a sec. Good morning, Minecraft, once again. Yeah, it's always a difficult decision um, if, uh, if you stick with the two or three colors you already have in the build or if you want to add another one because too, too many colors uh, can, yeah, kind of spoil the, the whole, the whole feeling you get in a... But let me quickly show you from the outside our water elevator. I think this part looks really, really nice. At first I tried to make uh, something like a staircase going up, but it uh, yeah, turned out to be um, really big and yeah. So I decided to go with the water elevator. It is small and this little uh, glass glass front here, I, I like it. And I um, yeah put something like this... Um, Stone brick basement all around the place, which which adds some some more color vari variety to it. And yeah, this is the little area where the where the wolf recycling sequence lever is. It uh, yeah, I don't think <laughs> very very many people will get get back here and have a look at it. So it's all right. And yeah, I mirrored this this entrance here on the other side. So maybe it can be yeah, like kind of a walkway. You can. Here will be the walkway um, from this area and you can get through the arena. And I hope I will build some more stuff around here soon so we have something we can get to through this uh, through this arena. Alright guys, that's my, my plan this far and now I think it's time to, to breed all the sheep again. So let's uh, quickly harvest our wheat farm here and see um, what we can do for that. Oh yeah, and guys, uh, <laughs> maybe you saw my, my little my little blaze farm. Um, I, I, yeah, I tried around with um, in creative. I had the idea uh, yeah, in, in the evening two days ago and 
I think it's a pretty nice uh, principle you can now um, in the new snapshot um, yeah move move any kind of more through portals and I had a little dis discussion on the on the Minecraft forums about it with some other guys that were interested in the in this um, design and yeah they tried out if it's possible to get uh, the nether portals near enough um, so the blazes uh, can't despawn while you are going to the overworld and it, it should work if you center the coordinates uh, properly and um, yeah, synchronize the portals you can have them I think about 10 or 15 blocks apart from each other which is of course very neat and I don't got enough seeds where are they? there they are um, so it should definitely work this this design and I hope it uh, will it will be used from the guys cause um, I think it's really nice it's really neat you don't need any any redstone for it or at least not in the nether part you can you will of course have to use some some redstone or not even that you can just throw a bucket of water into them but redstone is of course um, better to let me oh still some wheat let me get rid of those seeds here for a moment and then let's breed our sheep um, yeah it's it's of, it's of course neat and uh, the thing I most love about it is that um, that you can uh, yeah hook two or yeah dual blaze spawners and stuff you find uh, up together and this without um, worrying about the, the wiring and stuff and about tunnels to get them together and they will just go through the portal and be in, in one point in the overworld so it's really easy to to kill them there yeah I have to think about that cause every time I activate the lever the redstone goes here and all the trapdoors um, get down that's not good hmm. Hmm. Maybe is there another way? Maybe ladders. Maybe ladders will do to get out of the um, sheep boxes without letting the sheep out. Actually, I'll try it with ladders. I think. I think I thought uh, the ladder design somewhere from some guy. We'll see about that. But yeah, this place farm uh, is nice. And uh, if I We'll find a blaze spawner somewhere, or at least a nether fortress in this world. Um, I will definitely build one of these. Of course, we have to wait till till 1.4 comes out. But uh, this will happen, I think, around uh, Halloween, since it's it's the pretty scary update. And uh, how long is it to Halloween? I guess about four or five weeks. Okay, I think I got them all now. Let me check. So it's not too long. And yeah, therefore I kind of can't understand how the, the other Let's Players like like BWO and Etho and now even the Minecraft server um, already updated to the snapshots. I don't think it's a good idea to do that. Um, yeah, I I uh, wrote something on Reddit to this uh, on this topic as well. But I don't think it's a, it's a good idea because yeah the snapshots are there to kind of try try things out and I'm not really sure if they are supposed to be on the actual on the actual worlds you play on they are just to to bug fix stuff and they are still they are adding new features that are just to want to try out um, yeah for example the wither. Um, they get him in the game just to try out his and then they see oh man he's uh, way too too strong or too weak and then they uh, do some more balancing around his strength and yeah therefore there are a lot of features in the in the game that are not balanced quite yet when a snapshot is coming out and yeah I don't think uh, you should uh, abuse them or hmm, what am I doing here? Do I want to have a pattern in here, or do I want just to have a, have it one color? Hmm. 
I think I want to have a little, yeah, this uh, 3x3 area I want to do with glass. And for that idea, it is not the best idea to go with, um, oh, is it already the, I think this is the 3x3 area. So let's get some glass going. And I have an, I want to have a little window in the middle so we can look up. Of course, it's already obstructed by this uh, cross here. But what can you do? I, oh, I didn't get a furnace. Yeah, I think I will uh, figure something out eventually off camera to, to do it. But I think I decided to go with the with the sandstone and uh, stone brick theme. Let's get some glass burned up here. And let's get some more half slabs and, and stairs. Yeah, where was I? Somewhere in the middle of the of the update, I think. Oh, the yeah, updating to the snapshots. So yeah, because of the unbalanced stuff, I don't think it's it's the best way to um, go with the snapshot quite yet. You can of course uh, already fight the wither and uh, other mobs, but maybe the the difficulty um, into into do such things will will be different when the actual update uh, is released. And yeah, then it could be considered cheating using the, the snapshots before cause maybe it was a little bit easier or maybe it was even a little bit harder to get some stuff. And yeah, that's the reason for me I don't want to um, update on any snapshot before the, the things are certain. And another thing of course is uh, snapshots can always have um, crash bugs in them that uh, yeah, made your game crash and may, may even corrupt your world and that's always... Uh, yeah, a danger you can have with uh, such things. So that's my opinion on this on this uh, matter. Maybe you guys have a, have another one. You can of course let me know in the comments as always. Um, yeah, but I definitely wouldn't wouldn't update on the on to the snapshots. And there were even some talk they wanted to to update uh, the building survival server on the snapshots as well. Well, if the majority is for it, I, I I'm, I'm not uh, the guy who, who boycotts everything and stuff. But I might, I'd rather have the, the, the stable 1.3.2 update. Yeah, and it's, it's not even long ago when, when 1.3 was released. So I, I really don't know why everybody is so um, impatient about it. Let me see if this will work out so we can have some some bordering around this this window here. Of course I didn't get enough stairs and I definitely have to light up around here because mobs oh no. Mobs are able to spawn if it's nighttime and that's not good. That should do for now. Let's get some torches down here as well, maybe in the corners. They're not that... Uh... Oh. Do I get enough coal for some more? Yes, I do. That was the wrong... Oh, not caps lock shift I want to press. Yep. Yeah. That it concerning the snapshots. But of course there's some really nice stuff coming. Um, I really like the, the bats when they are coming into the game because they add so much... Um, yeah, so much uh, atmosphere and a nice feeling when you are when you are going through caves and when there are bats flying around. I think that does really a much, and I I love it that there are some some more passive mobs in the caves even. Good morning, Minecraft, and I can hear a spider guy. Spider guy, spider guy, you have to die. Um. I'm not I'm not sure about witches. They seem kind of weird. I don't know how they will implement them um, in the game. I guess it depends on that matter. But I'm not sure if I, if I like him yet. Maybe if they spawn in some kind of weird uh, houses uh, which randomly spawn in forests or something. Um, pretty rare. That would be quite funny. But um, 
I I definitely wouldn't like them to spawn. Um, yeah, just in the natural environment here. But anyways, guys, uh, I think I will finish this uh, floor there off camera, and I will show you the result next episode. And uh, I don't know if I will do the the upper floor the same, the same pattern, or will I will uh, yeah add a little bit more variety to it. We will see about that. But anyways, guys, I eat some more chicken uh, and. I hope you enjoyed this episode. So if you liked it, please feel free to leave a like. And I will see you next time. So goodbye guys, have a nice day. And seriously, don't be daft. Play some Minecraft.